What up, my gangsters? Yo, guys, what's up? It's Dave, the Oops Gangster here. So, a few weeks ago, I was browsing the interwebs like a boss, searching around when I came across something that really captivated my attention. What it was? A Raspberry Pi. So, what is a Raspberry Pi, and can you read it? No, you cannot, because you will die. <laughs> but what a Raspberry Pi is, it's basically a small, it's a computer board the size of your wallet. The awesome thing is, it has open source hardware and the ability to run open source software such as Linux and even Android. Now, what really makes this device the most innovative thing of our time right now is the fact that it retails for $35. It's able to run uh, SSH server, you're able to use it as a VNC, you can even use it as a media server, and trust me, the Raspberry Pi makes an awesome, awesome media server. It is, believe it or not, able to play back videos at 1080p resolution at, I believe, 30 to 40 megabits per second. So, it is really, really neat device. So I figured, well, why not do a series on it? So if you don't have a Raspberry Pi, I encourage you to think about buying one or just look into it and just to see all the possibilities in what you can do with it. And if you do have one, follow along because we're going to be doing some great stuff with this. And I want to see how far we can push this Pi to the limit. So let's get started with just looking at Raspberry Pi and our introduction. <laughs> so let's get started. Open source gangster, hey! What does a Raspberry Pi look like, the components you'll need, where you can buy them, the cost, and all that other fun stuff. So let's get to this. All right, so first thing, let's put this, put this to the side. Let's open up the prize possession here. Oh yeah, opening that up. And it's not coming out. Oh my God, it's stuck in there. That's what she said. All right, look at that. There we have that. Can you see it? All right, yeah, I guess I should take it out the plastic. Let's do this. But right here is the actual Raspberry Pi. Move that out a little more. There we go. Now that's sexy right there. Yes, this is the Raspberry Pi motherboard. This is the whole computer itself. So what is on this board? Well, right here at the central core of this, we have an ARM 11 uh, 700 megahertz CPU combined with 512 megabytes of RAM, revision B, and a very powerful GPU, believe it or not. On the side here, we have a HDMI port, Ethernet port, two USB slots, a video out audio, and a general purpose and out uh, port, which you can just plug in basically just devices and stuff. Over here, we have a micro USB charging port, and we have an SD card slot. Now, this is going to be where you hold the operating system. Well, I mean, the operating system is going to be your SD card, and you're going to slide out right there, and a micro USB port is going to power this. And yeah, so this little bad boy is going to be run up and running pretty soon. Alright, so where can you get the Raspberry Pi? Well, there's two revisions of it. There's Model B and Model A. Model A has slightly less RAM, I believe 256 megabytes, and it does not have an HDMI port. Model B has 512 megabytes of RAM and an HDMI port. So this is Model B right here. And Model B retails for around um, $35 and Model A is for around $25, so it's pretty cheap. Yeah, if you get it off somewhere like Amazon, you're gonna pay slightly more for it, but generally it's pretty cheap considering all that you're getting with this. All right, so there's the Raspberry Pi itself. Now let's put this to the side. Let's look at some other components. All right, so next thing we have here is the SD card. Now, this is not included with the Raspberry Pi, and you have to buy it separately. And you're definitely going to need an SD card because that's where you're going to actually hold the operating system on. I would recommend a Class 4 or higher. Maybe not so much as a Class 2, but, I mean, it'll still work either way. So you have your SD card. In addition, I also have a micro USB cable. Now, of course, you can get one from your phone. You can get find one of these anywhere. And finally, to power up, we're going to be using a just standard cell phone charger. Eventually I hope to actually get a portable USB charger which I think that would be really cool to have but for now a cell phone charger will work just fine. Alright guys so there you have it there's a the setup for the Raspberry Pi. Thanks for watching and tune in for some more upcoming videos.